Chapter 42 Whoever looks at it gets pregnant. Everyone was focused on that treasure map, and no one heard Zi Wei and Chong Shung. Xi Yin snatched a look at the treasure map. It was just as everyone was rushing up. What the hell is this? Hei Yang glared. Just saw, there was no terrain on the treasure map, only an egg, yes, just an egg was drawn. What exactly was the egg? Xi Yen couldn't tell for a while. He felt that when he looked at the egg, a vigorous vitality suddenly grew in his body. Huh, no, looking at this painting, why is there a feeling in my body? Hei Yen revealed a trace of doubt. With astonishment, Hei Yen once again took a second look. Buzz. A second strand of vibrant power steeply grew within his body. Get lost. Quadded Great King probed his hand and lifted off Hei Yen with a roar, instantly grabbing the treasure map. An egg. How could it be an egg? Not a treasure map. Bastard. What the hell is this? Quadded Great King probed his hand and threw the treasure map out, directly towards the iceberg where Guhai was. Snap! The treasure map plastered on top of the iceberg, the side with the egg. Facing everyone, the other side of the treasure map, facing Guhai and Fairy Wana. What's on the picture? Guhai revealed a hint of curiosity. How should I know? Think about how to get out, Fairy Wana said anxiously. The moment Quadded threw it out, he suddenly felt a hint of something wrong within himself. How did he suddenly nourish a vibrant power? No, what's going on inside me? Quadded Great King's face changed. No, what's going on? Why does my stomach hurt? Shi Yan's face changed. Just now, after looking twice, those two streams of vibrant power were climbing up. It was getting bigger and bigger, as if it was forcibly extracting its own power and condensing something. That painting has a ghost, Shi Yan's face changed, and he once again turned his head to look at it once more. The 100,000 cultivators around them even scrambled to look over. Let me take a look. Bastard, don't block it, show me. What treasure map? Bullshit treasure map. There's only an egg on this map. Show me, show me. The surrounding cultivators scrambled around. The people in front of them blocked the way and quickly ruffled the people in front of them. It's over, sinning, Ziwei said with an ugly face. So many people looking. I didn't brew enough vitality in that painting of mine. Ha. Huh. Chong Shang frowned. Vitality my ass. Don't ever say you painted it later. Ziwei said anxiously. Oops. Ah. Ah. Oh. My stomach. Hei Yan suddenly covered his stomach in horror. It was seen that Hei Yan's stomach was in the midst of getting bigger bit by bit. Alien. Huh. Gu Hai in the iceberg was slightly stunned. Ah, my stomach hurts. Mine too. Why is it suddenly hurting down? Ah, mine hurts too. All the people around who had seen the painting covered their stomachs together. Oh, it hurts. Help. What's wrong with me? Ah, my stomach is getting bigger and bigger. How did this happen? My stomach. I don't want it. One by one. The cultivators covered their stomachs in horror. Is it that painting? Shi Yen twisted his head and looked at the painting once again. As the crowd kept going to look at it, the colors of that painting seemed to be slowly fading away, getting fainter and fainter. A glance, a hint of fading. And when Hei Yen took a fourth look, a fourth strand emerged after the first three strands of vibrant power. What's going on? What happened to my stomach? Being backstabbed, no good, Lord Chin, Mr. Dongfang, no good, quick, save me. Shi Yun waddled towards the distance. Her stomach was getting bigger and bigger, and her face was getting more and more terrified. All, oh, help, my stomach, my stomach. The surrounding 100,000 cultivators sat paralyzed on the ground covering their stomachs in terror. It was as if there was a weird force in their stomachs, sucking in their respective strengths and enhancing that mass of power in general. That painting. It's that painting that's messing with us. Someone exclaimed. Quadded the Great King was also sweating profusely at this moment. Slowly sitting on the top of a high mountain, he sat on his knees. 
observing his body with his consciousness. What kind of power is this in his body? Messing with his stomach getting bigger and bigger. Consciousness into the body. Quadded Great King immediately probed the changes in the stomach. Consciousness body saw. His stomach. Do not know when. Suddenly more than an egg. This egg. As if it was connected to his internal organs. Connected to every key part of the body in general. In pumping the power of all parties. Nourishing that egg. How could there be an egg in his body? No. The shape of this egg. And just now in the painting of the same. Just now in the painting. What kind of egg is this? Quadded the great king once again carefully probed into the egg with his consciousness. Finally, the consciousness saw the inside of the egg. Looking at it, Quadded great king's whole person seemed to be silly. How can this be? How could this happen? What is this? Quadded great king screamed in horror. I realize I saw that egg, this egg, egg, egg. No, no. How can this be? A hundred thousand cultivators to the end, covering their stomachs in horror, each probed into their bodies with their consciousness, saw the egg, saw a terrifying thing. That's not an egg. What I drew is an embryo. The origin of life, Nojisa whispered. In the egg is a fetus. I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm a male. Huh. Where Guhai was on the iceberg, 100,000 cultivators were suddenly silent, and everyone's eyes froze. Gu Hai and Fairy Wana, who were left alone in the iceberg, revealed a bewildered look. These people, how come they all fell down? Their stomachs are getting bigger and bigger, Fairy Wana said blankly. I don't know, their expressions, they seem to be terrified, Gu Hai said in dismay. Silence, silence, silence. Ten breaths later. No. Oh no. Help. I don't want to get pregnant. I don't want to have a baby. Patriarch. Ooh. I haven't taken a daughter-in-law yet. What if I get pregnant? Patriarch. Whoops. I blame my daughter-in-law for not being able to give birth to a child. But don't want me to give birth to my own child. Patriarch. What should I do? Father. You're going to have a grandson. Ah. I'm going to have a brother too. I don't want it. Before the iceberg, there was a steep cry of ghosts and wolves. All 100,000 cultivators hissed in despair. This wasn't just a physical injury, but also a mental torture, pregnant. I'm going to fuck you, pregnant. That painting, where is that painting? The cultivator, who was pregnant, immediately fretted. Turning his head to look at that painting, the vitality of that painting all disappeared. The egg in the painting was also gone. Since, whoever looks at it is pregnant, Ziwei despaired. A hundred thousand people getting pregnant together. What a spectacle. Chong Sheng, however, said excitedly. Are you stupid? You got them pregnant. Won't they kill you? Ziwei glared at Chong Sheng. Getting pregnant is a good thing. Chong Shung said with incomparable determination. Zi Wei lowered her head, not daring to speak, but, with her body bound, she could only move little by little, trying to escape. Family master, my stomach is getting bigger and bigger. What kind of embryo is this? It's connected to my dantian, my five orifices, and it can't be torn down yet. Once I destroy the embryo, my dantian and five orifices will also be destroyed. Then what to do? Could it really be born? All the male cultivators in the surroundings had a creepy look on their faces. Pa, pa, snap. In front of the iceberg, a group of cultivators with big bellies kept cracking their mouths. Hopefully, this was a dream on the other side. Hei Yan, holding her growing belly, flew to the direction where Chin Zibai was. Lord Chin, Mr. Dongfang, help, help. Heian flew close and suddenly crashed down with her large belly. Hum. Chin Zibai picked up the falling Heian with a hand. Heian, who knocked you up? Chin Zibai's face changed. Quick, save me. There's something in my stomach. Quick, quick, Mr. Dongfang. Xian said anxiously. Lie down flat, Mr. Dongfang said in a deep voice. 
Shi Yin immediately lay down flat. Mr. Dongfang probed his hand on top of Hei Yan's right hand pulse and closed his eyes and frowned as he probed. Hei Yan, your stomach is getting bigger. Can't you feel it yourself? Oh, it's growing again. Chin Zibai's face changed. Those four things, they're sucking my whole body's power. My whole body's power is being extracted. What's wrong with me? Mr. Dongfang, she and anxiously looked at Emma Dongfang. Mr. Dongfang took his pulse for a while and steeply opened his eyes. Mr. Dongfang, what's wrong with Hei Yan? Chin Zibai was surprised. Mr. Dongfang, what's in my stomach? Xi Yin said in horror. After a moment of silence, Mr. Dongfang looked odd. Say it, what's in my stomach? Say it. Hei Yan roared impatiently. Mr. Dongfang held his tongue for a while and finally spat out three words, quadruplets. A. Chin Zibo was violently stunned and didn't understand for a moment. What? Say it again. Shi Yan's face froze as he said. Although he had guessed it along the way before, but when he actually heard someone else talk about it, Shi Yan still couldn't accept it for a moment. You're pregnant, quadruplets. Mr. Dongfang once again said in a tangled voice. Chin Zibai's head spun, still not turning the corner. What the hell, pregnant? Quadruplets. What quadruplets? Shi Yan is pregnant. The three of them were violently quiet, as if they were digesting this bizarre fact together. After a while, Chin Zibai finally understood and looked at Shi Yan with his mouth open in consternation. You, you, you're pregnant. Or quadruplets. No, no, I don't want to be pregnant. Mr. Dongfang, save me. I don't want, no. Shi Yen hissed up in despair. He himself used to be the emperor who ruled the world. And he's still a man. You're saying I'm pregnant. What would my former subjects think? What would they think? Oh, there's a reason why the emperor submitted to Dai Yuan. Because our emperor went home to have a baby. That picture was so beautiful that Shi Yan was dumbfounded at the thought 